Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you on this wild, windy October day down to the garden. I need to pick my uh, dried peas that's on the vine because we have rain coming and this is my seed stock for next year. So I have uh, black-eyed peas to pick have my hog's brain peas to pick, more piggot peas to pick. They've all gone wild this year. Don't understand why, but they have, and I'm thankful for it. So I'm fixing to get busy. I've got my picking baskets. I've got three, that way I can keep my peas separate, and I'm gonna bring you along for the picking. See you here in a little bit. And since the rains are coming, I do not want my dried pea shells to get wet because my seeds inside could start germinating. So it's time to stop talking and get to working. Right, I'll be back. I'll let you watch me pick. Okay, I have my first side of black eyed peas picked. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? And there's even more on the other side. So I'm fixing to get busy and I'll bring you back when I get that side done. And the vine, since it's cooled off, they're springing back to life. They're blooming and they have even more peas on them. So I'm tickled to death about it. Now I'll bring you back here after a while. It's already started to sprinkle and this old girl's got to hurry up and get these peas picked. I'll see you back here in a little bit. Okay, I am done picking the black eyed peas for now. I got two beautiful baskets full and some of them are fresh. So we'll be, I'll be putting those in some soup or something. Whew, it's windy as can be. All right, now I'm going to go dump my baskets up under the canopy so I have baskets to pick in. And my hog's brain peas are loaded, so it's going to be a lot of them. And I'll bring you back as soon as I'm done picking those. See you after a while. Well, I am finally done picking the hog's brain peas. Two big, beautiful baskets full. And one of my harvest baskets handles broke, so I gotta fix that up. It's been lightly sprinkling, but I'm beating it. And the only thing left I have to pick is a few of my piggot peas. And I will bring you back when I get done harvesting those. See you in a bit. Okay, I am finally done picking the what dried piggot peas I have. This is the second dried batch of piggot peas and I'm going to have a third batch of peas uh, to can up fresh peas. Look how beautiful they are and they are huge. Let me see if I can get a better view of them. Sorry. I'm fighting sprinkles, wind, but look Let's see if it'll focus. Look how beautiful those are. And they're speckled. Let's see if I can do better with my left hand. They're speckled. And these are the biggest cow peas I've ever seen. And uh, I am thankful that I have a 
whole lot of seed stock compared to what I had I started with this year I think this year I only had 25 seeds I've got way more than enough peas and I'm probably going to triple how many I plant next year because these are some of the best canned peas and I can understand why the Piggott family in Louisiana kept them a secret. Don't blame them a bit. I would too if I had the chance. But I'm definitely going to, I'm done with my dried pea harvest, thankfully, cow peas, or also known as field peas. I'm done with the dry harvest. Rain is just now starting to come down pretty good. But all the dry peas are off. And my crazy pea vines, they have hit, since it's cooled off, they have gone wild. They are re-blooming. They are throwing out more green vines. And you know what? I'm going to let them because there's still time that I'm going to get a harvest or two more off of them. I don't go to ripping my plants out because, you know, they might look a little bad. Yep, the pea vines look bad, but you know what? They're blooming. They're shooting out new uh, shoots. And if I get two more harvest, so be it. I'm going to be happy as can be. I don't take my plants out until frost kills them because I take full advantage of my gardening season. And just because I might get too much produce, in these days ahead that's coming too much produce is no that don't cut it that don't cut it because you could be drying it putting it back one day i'll have a uh freezer and watch out we're going to be really busy then i'm looking forward to one day as long as I stay positive and keep praying, I'm going to have that uh, medium-sized freeze dryer, and I'm going to be busy putting up food. But off my soapbox, I've still got more. I've got a lot of peppers to harvest. My lima beans aren't quite just ready yet to harvest, but oh my gracious, they're loaded. And then I had um, some heirloom... Uh, lima beans that um, didn't sprout too well and I have a theory of why a lot of seeds weren't sprouting like they were supposed to. Um, I've got seed stock on those so I'm happy to see that once they start getting ripe I'm going to take those off and I'll have even more of those lima beans and seeds for next year. Got a lot of do. There's only one of me unfortunately. So I've got to get busy. I hope this video encourages you to grow field peas. All you need is a simple trellis. It's simple and easy. And let me show you the beauty. Look how long. This is one of the, um, oh, now some timers has kicked in. Piggott. There we go, the piggot piece. Look how long that is. And that pod is full of seeds, seed stock, dried, uh, dried seeds to go up in the, on, into the pantry. Anybody can garden. It might look horrible, but this was a rough year to garden in. But you know what? Regardless, I'm thankful for every one of these plants. They have produced their little hearts out, and I'm thankful for every one of them. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. I will help out as much as possible, and if I don't know, I will find the direction that you need to go into. Uh, everyone, take care.